just another video on mixer editor settings for the KK2. This one's for my new frame, the Dead Cat, based off the, uh, the SK450. So, same principles as per my ZMR video where I've made up the document. I'm not going to make up a document for this one. I'll just take a photo of this that I'll post up. So, basically, again, you've got your center of gravity, which is actually here on this quad, but I figure once I add the battery on top, it'll be pretty much where the, the 45 degree angle for the, the rear uh, the rear arms join up so I'm actually using this as my center of gravity which makes these angles 45 degrees out to here and here so therefore the angle to the front arms from center of gravity is 63 degrees off zero and back the other way so 297 for the angle for motor 1, 63 for motor 2, uh, and I've punched it into the spreadsheet to get the, uh, the elevator and aileron using sign. I'll, I'll post a link to this spreadsheet. So motor number 3 is 135 degrees angle. And motor number four going, uh, sorry, yep, motor number four going around to here is 225 degrees. The lengths, which you also punch into this spreadsheet for each arm, the rear ones are 250 and the front ones are 260, which then gives you the aileron elevator for each. This quadrant, so aileron minus on the left plus on the right elevator plus up the top minus down the bottom so elevator basically being forward back aileron right left therefore your motor one is minus 89 for aileron plus 45 for elevator plus and plus over here plus minus 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 so when you punch all those settings into your mixer editor on the KK it will make it fly like a standard quadcopter so now I'll just put some ESCs on and we'll put all those settings into the KK too and we'll give it a test flight see how she flies the latest version of RC911's firmware allows you to put a rotation on the KK2 for configuration. So I'm going to turn this KK 90 degrees to the right so that the configuration port can be accessed from the side and the receiver can go front, motors back where there's a bit more space. So I think it'll be a much nicer configuration for the KK and then we'll just in the firmware tell it which way it is. So here's my build so far. I've got the KK installed transmitter receiver and I'm just using a wiring loom out to the motors and the ESCs which will come down into an XT90 connector Thought it should be a 60 for this size but that's what was on the loom that I'm using I've already had this built up for another quad so just transferring it all onto this one to see how it goes with the mixer editor settings and uh, the dead cat configuration okay so it's all built I've installed uh, V4 of RC911 firmware on here so probably a few things on here that are a bit different so I've got all the default settings for self level important things are 
advanced settings, the mixer editor. I've put in all the settings, so channel 1, minus 89.45, channel 2, 89.45. So that's to allow for the dead cat frame, much flatter front arms. The back, because the arms are a bit shorter than the standard, they're not minus, or they're not 71, they're 68. So that's about all for the back. And the border orientation. So I've plugged this board in facing to the right. So that's how I've set the orientation for the KK board on here, which is a new feature, which I really like, because now the motor and the receiver uh, plugs all go front and back, and I can actually plug this device in from the side. It makes it much easier to attach to. So that's that's a nice new feature. And this is what I love. When you show the motor layout, there it is. It actually looks like your yeah, quadcopter in dead cat mode with the mixer editor settings applied. Let's go and give it a test flight. Just one quick cautionary tale. If you are doing the KK2 rotation, which I've done, make sure you get it right. Otherwise it will just instantly flip and do this to your propellers. I had it 180 around the wrong way, so now I have my 9 inch props on, which are working quite well, and here's the demonstration. <laughs> 